And this is why I talk about my plan for world domination! Hmm, <laughs> sorry. Sup, fam! It's Richie from Social un uh, Uncircumcised Shirt Thing. And uh, today, we're gonna be talking about, I need to close that door. It's in or out, bud? It's in? Okay, you're gonna be in? You gonna be good? He says he's gonna be good. Okay, he's, he's going to sit, he's right, okay, you can't. <laughs> He's right off camera, see? Uh, oh, there, okay, there he is. And today we're gonna be talking about one of my best buds, uh, arguably the longest running nemesis on this channel, I guess. I haven't talked about Onision in probably, I don't know, when was the last video I made on him? I could easily look this up. Probably like nine or 10 months ago, like a real Onision hate video, which was kind of a staple to my channel for a while. But I think after many years of beefing and uh, all parties involved, okay, you're gonna clean yourself, that's cool. I feel like I've said everything I've needed to say about Onision without completely repeating myself or just making the same video over and over again. But he doesn't seem to have that issue, so uh, this year he's made six videos about me. I've kind of just restrained from even saying his name at all or bringing him up minus the, like a Twitter quip or something. It's worked out for the best, I think. I kind of nowadays treat Onision a little bit like how I treat religious people or like debating the idea of religion. Hear me out. So I think it's very common knowledge that I'm an atheist or agnostic atheist, whatever you want to call it. But when I was a teenager and was just kind of discovering this stuff, I kind of went all out with it. Kind of, kind of like how anyone, like you, you first discover a hobby or something you're really into and you learn everything about it. You soak up all the information. And that was kind of crusading in the name of atheism. It was, it was not the greatest look, I'm not gonna lie. Looking back on it, I kind of think I was almost as, almost, not, not as bad, but almost as bad as, as the religious folk I was so angry with. But as I got older, I saw myself start to mellow out a bit, started to get less angry over other people's beliefs. Like, sure, I could argue with you about the fundamental structure of your very being, but that's, that's probably gonna get us nowhere. I'm not going to change a religious person's view. They're probably not going to change my view. And arguing about it is a waste of time. It's a waste of energy. It's a waste of mental and sometimes physical resources that you should just be spending on other things in your life. There's only one thing for certain, and I swear I have point to all this, is that everyone dies. I just got tired of arguing about it. And that, that same logic applies to Onision and making videos about him and constantly responding back and forth and back and forth. And while I know a lot of people thought it was really entertaining, it is so mentally exhausting to bicker with somebody that you fundamentally don't agree with on so many things. So I've refrained from saying anything directly to these six videos that he's made this year and uh, over a dozen in 2017, although I responded to those, but I haven't responded to any of these. So what I wanted to do for this, for this uh, spicy piece of content, because let's be real, I'm just making this video for the views, is I wanted to watch these videos, I'm not going to show them, they're, they're in the internet, you can find them yourself, and give them a score, one for overall aesthetic, one for entertainability, and the last one being just the overall information in the video and what I thought about it. And I'm gonna rank that because apparently that's the uh, format we're using in this video on a one to, to five scale, I guess. Okay, so this first video I pulled up, uh, uploaded a few, few months ago, uh, called Dear Social Post, Leave Jack Glenn, Jesse Page Alone. This was right after I posted the Jesse Page video, which, uh, people didn't like so much, and I guess he made a response to that, so let's have a look-see, shall we? I have to make a video response to this. I got you covered. So let's talk about the aesthetics of this video. Uh, Greg is looking very upbeat in this. Uh, his skin is looking relatively clear, which is which is good. You know, he just looks like he's in really good spirits. Probably because he hasn't made a video about me in a long time, and Kitty wants out. Very bad. Anyway, as I was saying, um, he looks like he's in very good spirits because public opinion uh, was and still is not so great around me. It's essentially a um, a react video on the song that I made. He didn't put the song in because he knew I would claim it because probably, I mean, I don't control that stuff, but probably he made his own version. And uh, I thought that was pretty creative of him. Every time he listened to, you know, 20, 30 seconds of the song, uh, he didn't even show the lyrics. He would just, 
make his own version of the song and then and then talk about it trying to like paraphrase what I said so that that was cool uh, amongst all the ma the many a horse joke I'm assuming because I have a large head and uh, I don't I don't know what what to do about that I was born with it I would give it a solid you know, like three out of five being average, you know, four out of five. I'll give a four out of five aesthetic because he's looking, he's looking healthy and that's good. Even if I don't like him that much, it, it seems like he's come to terms with his irrelevance, with his whole lifestyle slipping, slipping away at his claws and uh, you know, he's just, he's just living life. As far as entertainment goes, it's not bad, but it, it could have been better. So probably, probably a three out of five there. And uh, overall, what's in the video? I, I thought, yeah, I thought, I thought it was creative. I thought it was entertaining. Um, <laughs> yeah, four out of five. It's, uh, it's not bad. Less equine related jokes and you might have gotten that extra point or even a point five, but we'll we'll just say that for now. The next video, um, this one, oh, this one does have my name in the title. Uh, why I love Jesse Page and not in caps. Social repose. Let's pull this one up and uh, give it a go, shall we? It's 10 minutes on the dot. Just going after her, I think because you want her. I think there's there's a fair amount to unpack here. Uh, as far as aesthetics go, he, he looks like he hasn't showered in a few days. Which is, there's nothing wrong with that, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna have to dock some points for that too because you know, the last video he looked real put together. I'm gonna have to hit you with a one out of five on the aesthetics on this one, but it, it not all is lost, okay? We still have two more categories. For most of the video, he goes into a full-blown react of, of my video. There's nothing wrong with react videos or critiquing videos or, or whatever. I mean, if, if you do it correctly, sometimes some information can surface that you haven't thought of in the past, and he's loading your brain with information, but uh, this one, I, I feel like it could have been done a little better. You could have pulled it could have been a little more entertaining, so t two out of five. I think it's really deeply comical that he was kissing Jesse Page's ass so hard when nobody liked me in, in that period of time when I, when I made that Jesse Page video. But the second Jesse Page announced that she was kind of interested in somebody or had someone in her life romantically, he, uh, haven't heard, haven't heard from Greg. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting. Two out of five. So moving on, this uh, this next video is why do people hate social repose? That, that's quite that's quite the title, sir. Now this was uploaded November fourth, so like a little over a month ago, five five weeks ago. That's that's fairly recent. I mean, these all are pretty recent, but this one's the the most recent. I'm about to get enlightened on why people hate. Social repose. Social repose. The horse you see nine times on the screen right now. He pretty much reiterated everything that he said in his last two videos. It's it's a it's a reaction video to my video. I find this fascinating because originally, after we worked together, which which is now years ago, uh, the beef originally started because he didn't like that I reacted to one of his videos. He made a parody about it, so the, the whole foundation of this anger is based on hating react videos. That's interesting. He's definitely looking more put together in this one. He put on his makeup a little better. Uh, his skin, skin's looking nice and clear, so we, we gotta appreciate that. He's wearing these overalls and a nice buttoned up shirt, so uh, you know, everything's looking real clean. Definitely, definitely a four out of five. I think I think it's pretty well put together. It has a it has a nice arc to it as well. I'm uh, you know, I can't, I can't really complain too much. Now moving on to entertainability with this one, I have to say it does, kind of shift tones in it several times, which is actually good because it doesn't, you know, like nobody wants to watch a 15 minute long react video where you stay mad the whole time or you stay, well, I mean, I don't know. When I watch a video like that, I want changes and there's arcs, you know, he starts off making fun of me, a lot of horse jokes. He goes in and, and starts critiquing my content and then he starts getting really mad and really, really righteous about it. And then he really brings it home to, to take me down. And man, I, like I even started hating me at the end of it like fuck fuck that guy he's the oh wait that's me four four out of five i i think i think the tone it, it you know it it kept my attention i feel like these videos are the same video with like slightly different i mean that's like most of youtube but especially here where he just repeats the same things and narrative that he says over and over again so i'm not not a big fan of that one but he does put a lot more emotion into it this time so that it's not it's not all bad towards the end it kind of feels a little bit like one of those political smear 
ads on television, you know, like the 30 second ads where they're like, this person is bad and he killed children. I've seen the before and after of this guy, but sadly, you guys are gonna start to forget and people are gonna start easing up on him because people get bored. And right when he feels comfortable again, right when everything seems okay, he's gonna destroy someone else. It's a little much, it's a little much. I'm gonna have to give it a three out of five. It's it's, it's average. It, 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 could've, it could've rose above the rest, but it, didn't. This next one is called I should have done this a year ago and it's in uh, in reference to to my very messy breakup. This is probably gonna be another react video of him talking about me. Okay, uh, there's not a whole lot to say about this one. It's it's what I, it's a reaction video. Love it. Love this content. Really enjoying making this video. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's start with aesthetics. Looks a little tired in this one. Looks a little worn down. Gonna have to hit you with a two out of five, man. No, it's nothing personal. I look. I I don't I don't make the grading scale. I just give the grade. All right. Okay. As far as entertainability, this one was I think the least entertaining because it was it was like a straight dry react he didn't really put much into it and uh, clearly it's for shock value i mean the title is the most it's the most clickbaity out of all the ones that we have viewed or i have viewed and you have heard me talk about today i'll probably just stick it with a one i mean it's not a zero you can get a zero that's possible and as far as information goes he's like apologizing I think it's kind of like an apology to everybody, but at the same time, like, he still has that condescending gloat to him that he's like, ha ha, I was right. Even though, if I remember correctly, people were really mad at him for a lot of other things that that weren't just my relationship status. So I, I, it's, it's kind of hard to ignore that part, but it doesn't matter. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of, like, this whole section of YouTube. It, it's just, it's gossip. That's all this is. It's just gossip. It doesn't take any ability to do this. It's just, it's pretty mindless, you know, kind of regurgitation of what a lot of other people have already said, but he's saying it and, you know, he has a right to say it because he's Onision and I don't know. I just, I, I'm not into it. So definitely, definitely a one out of five on this one. This video, which was uploaded kind of a long, it was uploaded about almost, almost a year ago on the dot now called uh, 10 things I love about social repose. Maybe it'll be a positive video. Yeah, maybe. But this is on his comedy channel, so if it's offensive, it's uh, it's comedy. So don't don't worry. You hear that, Shane Dawson and Eugenia Cooney? It's just it's just comedy. Just lighten up. Just lighten up. <laughs> this is more old school Greg content, which I personally appreciate. I think that's why I originally was a fan way back in the day. I think that's why a lot of people were a fan of his back in the day is because some of his skits are, leg are legitimately funny. They have the jokes, they're quick, they're uh, they're fairly well edited, although this one, uh, he's dropped off a bit. If we're comparing this video to all the other ones, this one has way less horse jokes, so good for him for comedically branching out. I'll give it a four out of five. It was funny. I mean, it's... A lot of cheap shots, but at least it wasn't a react video, so I could I can appreciate the production quality. As far as entertainability goes, this is definitely the most entertaining one, but that's kind of like being a marathon runner racing against a bunch of smokers. It just doesn't doesn't really hold up. So I, I guess it gets five out of five. Question mark. And information. There there really isn't any. It's a comic sketch, so Two, two out of five. And the final one, another skit. At least it's it's a minute and 41 seconds long. So like, thank you. This one is called Social Repose versus Onision, parentheses, comedy sketch. It was uploaded a couple months ago because of course it was. Let's have a look. Here goes nothing, buddy. Oh! Ow, that looks like it really hurts. There are a fair amount of horse jokes in this one, probably more than any of the others, condensed into a minute and a half long sketch. When you have to resort to making fun of somebody's appearance, like say the shape of their head or the color of their teeth or things that they can't necessarily change. That kind of shows that your argument is fairly thin. Three out of five, uh, I don't have much to say on that front. I must admit it was entertaining because while his impression of Deadpool is very cringy, I mean, I kept watching, like I was, I was there. I was still there for it. I'm not gonna say it's a good video, but 
Four out of five. I mean, he shoots me in the head in this one, so he's just, just living out his fantasies. I don't know, it wasn't as imaginative as uh, the last video, so th three out of five. And that <laughs> wraps up every single direct video Anision has made about me in 2018. But what I've taken away from this exercise in masochism is that there's a reason why I kind of stopped responding to Greg. I mean, I will admit that in 2016 and 17, it was great for views. It was great for just subs and channel growth, and it was funny, it was easy. But I feel like while I do make some dramatic and off the wall content sometimes, it just kind of felt like beating a dead horse, like quite literally. Wow, okay, because a part of me wants to do it and wants to have a voice, and the other part is just like, just remember why you do this in the first place. You like to make art, you like to make a statement, you like to make music, you like to produce music. That's why I do this. So when I get sucked into YouTube drama and I get sucked into personality driven bullshit, it's like, it does kind of chew up your soul and spit it back out at you. And then you're like, all right, fix it. And then I have to keep fixing it. And then it's just like, why? It's just, mindless gossip, it doesn't improve anything, it doesn't mean anything. It's I, I, I get that a lot of channels try to operate under the cover of like, this is kind of like being a journalist, I need to uncover the truth. But 99% of it just feels more like tabloids. Just trash and people watch it and YouTubers know that they watch it so they make the content and it's just, it's just soul crushing. Like I still get a fair amount of hate comments on the music stuff that I do saying, oh, I wish you did more of this and less drama. But the truth is, is that I would say over 90% of the uploads on this channel are music related. It's just the fact that drama attracts so many views and YouTubers know that. And I'm not innocent in this either. I do it too. It's just, it's all for views. It's just so, it's so empty. I, th I think that's ultimately what I'm trying to convey here is that drama content and gossiping about other YouTubers for the sake of getting views and for the people just wandering in just because they're being nosy because it's human nature, it doesn't add anything. It doesn't enrich anyone's lives. All it does is just shovel on more negativity and people react to negativity and as content creators, we know that. And at the end of all of this, I just kind of sit back and, and look at this giant shitty painting of videos and I, I, I realize that none of this matters. We all die. We all die. And I'd rather spend however many days I have left on this planet doing things that I enjoy. Just because a video doesn't get a ton of views doesn't mean it's not good. And I feel like sometimes I get wrapped up a little bit in the rat race that is YouTube and trying to fight the algorithm and trying to stay relevant and talk about people that people are talking about and just putting out garbage. And it's like, it really crushes my soul. So anyway, the whole core to that is that everyone dies and nothing matters. Cool. Stay sad, but not too sad. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become irrelevant.